Now, if you're interested in creating a simple quality AI coloring book that actually sells in Canva, then this is the video for you. Canva AI has really improved in the past few years, and I'm going to walk you through every step from research to creating the coloring images to the cover as well. So make sure you watch this full video. So first of all, you need to start off with research and the biggest problem why most people's coloring books, they don't sell at all is because they don't take the time doing research and actually create a book that's in demand. So the best place to always start off with research if you are a beginner is on Amazon. So for example, we can just go into amazon.com. We can type in coloring book. Now we can see that there's over 90,000 results for coloring book. And there's probably a lot more than that. So you don't want to just go and create a basic coloring book as it's just not going to be found. So what you want to start doing is actually niching down. And a really simple way to do that is to go over to the left hand side and what you want to do is just click on the last 90 days so this is going to show you the coloring books that have been selling over the last 90 days and on the first page is actually going to show you the books that are the most in demand so what we want to do is just take a scroll through and just maybe see if we can find some simple themes throughout these books so just scrolling through we've got a cozy days coloring book to the left to the right, we've got a rest and reflect coloring book. So we've got another cozy coloring book here and another one here, food, a drink and sweets, ocean scene. So we keep scrolling through and one of the common themes we keep seeing is this cozy coloring book idea. So it might be something that we want to think about. We're seeing more and more cozy, cozy. So what we can do is just go into the Amazon search bar and just maybe type the word cozy in front of this. And what we want to do is just make sure that there is such suggestions for it. So people are actually typing in this term and yes, people are. So we can just click enter. And then this is a way to just niche down a little bit more. So we can see that now it's gone down from 90,000 results to 10,000 results. So this is much better. And then we can just scroll through this and just maybe see if we can find some common themes. So again, we're getting more cozy coloring books, different ideas. So here we've got cozy corner, cozy cuties, cozy friends, cozy Christmas. So we've got some interesting ideas. Let's just keep on scrolling through and seeing what we're coming up with. So we've got more cozy ideas. So you can just scroll through and see common themes and you can see how low a lot of these BSRs are. So these books are definitely in demand. So another thing that we can do is just by going into the Amazon search bar, then it's going to provide us with a lot of suggestions for what people are typing in. So we've got a lot of different ideas here, cozy coloring book for kids, we've got for women, we've got for teens, we've got Christmas, we've got spooky, comfy. So there's a lot of different ideas that we can hopefully niche down into even more. Now, as it's getting to Christmas, I know that these types of books are going to be in huge demand. So we can just type in that cozy coloring book. So now we've entered in the search term, you can see that we've just got over 3000 results, which we've gone down from 90,000 to just 3000 results. So we're competing with a lot less books now. And we just want to check the demand. So we can do that by looking at the BSRs. And just off the face of it, we can see very, very low BSRs already. So this tells us that there's huge demand for this type of coloring book. So at least we have the foundation of knowing this type of book there is huge demand for it so this is something that we want to create a book around which is the start but then you really want to think about how you can make your book different and the content of the book which is the next step so now we found the book that we want to create. It just took a few simple steps. Research doesn't have to be that difficult. Then the next step we want to do is actually get the dimensions for the book that we want to create. Now we can see the majority of these books are 8.5 by 8.5. And you can see roughly that they have 100 ish pages. This one has around 88. So this just gives us an idea of the dimension and pages that we need. So we can just go over to KDP calculator, we can fill in all this information as I've done here. So I've gone paperback, black and white, uh, white paper left to right inches, we've got 8.5 by 8.5. And for this instance, I'm just doing an 80 page count, and then you just calculate the dimensions. So you've got all the dimensions here. And then for the full cover, we've got the 
dimensions here and then for the book interior we've also got the dimensions here however if you want your book to be a bleed where it goes all the way to the edges then you can use these dimensions and now we can go over to canva to start creating our book so once you're in canva what you can do is just go over to the left hand side where it says create then go back to the cover calculator and then just take your dimensions so we're going to need one separate page for the interior so you can just take the dimensions which i'm taking 8.5 by 8.5 as i won't need bleed for this coloring page and then afterwards then you can go back again for your cover so once that's done you just put in the dimensions in here 8.5 by 8.5 and then i've already got it here so i'm just clicking that and then it's going to take you to your page so once we have this page now i always think it's nice to have a title page it's just something nice to open up to so for example you can just add text to this page you may want to add an image above but i've just chosen a fun text that just represents the title subtitle and then my brand again you can just go over to text and then just choose a heading uh, and then just manipulate it from there very simple to do okay and then after this what you might want to do is add a copyright page you don't have to do this but i've seen a lot of publishers do this so then you've got that page and you may want to add some text after it and then once that's completed this is where your coloring page can start i think it's always nice to have an outline so the person coloring in doesn't go over a certain area so what you want to just do is type in a rectangle and then it should come up with an image like this then you just want to increase it what you should see is maybe a purple area on outline so we just want to go to the edges of this you can go a little bit wider if you want but in this instance i'm just going to use this area and then we can click on it then we want to change the color to white and then we'll go to stroke style which is just next to color and then we just want to increase that we'll leave it on we'll say seven and then we've got our outline here now what we want to start doing is adding all our pages together so we can just click down here where it has grid view and then we'll just give it a second then we'll add another page after this as with coloring pages you're supposed to have one coloring page and then behind it blank as amazon's coloring pages are quite thin so it's always best to have one coloring page with the coloring page on it and then the next one blank so all we want to do is just copy and paste this until we get to 80 pages so we'll just speed through it like that until we get to around 80 pages and once that's done you can see we've got 80 pages there we can just click the grid view and then we can start creating our coloring page images so to start creating our coloring pages what you're going to need is prompts and to make this very simple i always just go to chat at gpt so all i've done is typed in provide five prompts for a cozy christmas coloring book with a bold clean outlines and no shading that's just going to make it very easy for it to come up with those prompts so we've got five different ones here now we can start off with the first one where it just says a snug living room decorated for christmas a glowing fireplace stockings hanging above and a big armchair with a blanket a christmas tree with simple ornaments all in bold clean outlines no shading so we just copy and paste that prompt now into canva so we go back to canva and then you've got this option here in elements just copy and paste it in there then below you've got the option to generate images and there's code and video but what we want is images so we just click on that and then it's going to actually start generating four different images so once the images are ready you can just choose one of them if it doesn't generate an image you like you can just redo it so let's say we just choose this one then all you need to do is just make sure that you resize it so it's inside the lines if you want to even you can just zoom in a little bit just to make sure that it's within the area again we want to create the best coloring book that we can so all these small details matter so once that's all done then we've got our coloring page there 
Within Canva, you've got the ability to clean up the image also. So you can just click on it and then go to edit and then go to magic eraser. So we can remove any area that we don't like. So we can just reduce the brush size and I'm not too sure what image it's tried to do here. So again, I can ju just remove that and then you can click erase and you can see there it's removed the drawing in the picture. Next, I want to remove this area here and this around here. So we just highlight those areas and you can see it also tidied up the image really quickly. And next to further tidy up the image, what we can do is go over to tools and then just click on the draw tool and then just click on the, the first option and make sure that the color is black. And then you want to make sure that you have the right weight. I usually go with three, then just zoom into the image further and then just have a look at the areas where you might want to add a line to. So we'll just add something here because it looks like all the lines aren't really finished along here and it actually tidies it up and then we'll just go over to this line here so we'll just finish that all the way across so it just looks a little more tidier you can see what it's done there so there are other areas to tidy up in this image but it just makes it look a lot better but it will just improve the quality of this image overall and then that's what you need to be doing for each and every image so you've got a clean and tidy coloring page images so after generating your image you just want to make sure that they are upscaled sometimes with ai images the resolution can be really low so you can upscale within canva too all you need to do is actually go over to the app section and then click and type upscale and you're gonna see several options here. The one I like to use is the first one here, Image Upscaler, so you just click on that. And then you're gonna see the option to upscale it two times or four times. Two times is more than enough. So you just click on Upscale, and then when this option comes up, click Replace. And then once it's done, you're going to get a much more defined image. So, so that's what's going to stop the images from being blurry when they are printed and sent to customers, so you won't get those complaints. So then to start the next page, just go back to chat GPT, copy and paste in the same prompt again. Just go to elements and remove the previous prompt and then just copy and paste that in and then click generate images. So our images are now ready and then just take the one that you like the most. So we've got this image again, just resize it, make sure that everything looks fine within the image. And then once you're happy with that, then you can edit it. The good thing about the prompt is I've typed in no shading. So we have no grayscale coming up, but if it does do that in that case, all you need to do is just go to the edit and then go to the adjust and then just increase the contrast, highlight shadows and whites, and it'll actually turn your image to a coloring page. As I've always stated, you want to be creating the best quality coloring pages and then also doing the editing and fixing parts of the image too. So just make sure that you do that for the other 30 to 40 coloring pages that you create as well, just following the exact same process. And for the cover, the process is very similar. So just make sure that we've got those full dimensions just here, 17.43 by 8.75. And then we can put those into Canva just there and there, make sure that it is on inches. And then it's going to give us our cover dimensions. Now, again, what I've done with the front cover is all I've done is I've gone to ChatGPT and asked it for five prompts for a cozy Christmas coloring book cover. And it's given me five different ones here. And I've chosen the second one. Then I've just gone into the elements and copied and pasted it in here. And it's added four different images. And then I've just picked one of those. I've put it onto the right hand side. And then I've gone and just flipped it over, copied and pasted it, put it on the back cover. And then I've just added two coloring images to the back and then just added a, a nice interesting front to the cover. And then I've gone to the effects and I've just gone with a nice outline 
keeping it coordinated with Christmas, going with the red and white. So it just stayed in theme. And I think that's a really nice and simple cover. So the coloring book comes together really easy in Canva. And basically once you've finished everything and you're happy with it, all you need to do is just go to share, click download, and then make sure that you go to PDF print and then CMYK best for professional printing and click download. And then also do the same for your interior page too. So then you have your interior and your cover, and then you can upload it to Amazon KDP. Now I've got videos on the uploading process, and there's also several different videos out there but you want to make sure you take time when going through the uploading process and not make any mistakes. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of this video too.